Today we're going to be talking about the Bandai limited movie monster series Godzilla the Art Round 2 exclusive Godzilla 1991 from Godzilla vs King Ghidorah as repainted by Coin Parking Delivery. Coin Parking Delivery Goji is an absolute visual treat to the eye. I cannot get over the bright colors, the metallic additions to them and such. This is a prime example of how great a movie monster series repaint should be. And while yes, he might just be another 1991. Oh, he, he, he's, t he's taller. Okay, I guess there's a little bit more explorative surgery to do on this guy than I initially thought. But regardless, he looks great with some King Ghidorahs, he looks great against other Godzillas and such, and clearly the man is more than just a repaint, because apparently there might have been some retooling going on, but don't worry, we'll get to it. Alright, so let's get this out of the way now. Coin Parking Delivery Goji will be standing just a bit over 6 inches tall. Interesting. His original release counterpart will be standing a little bit shorter. Wow, he actually is taller. Huh, yeah, you can mark that off my bingo card of things I wasn't expecting with this particular mold. And now we can take a look at this lovely, lovely tag. Bandai with the tag depiction glow up. We love to see it. And on this tag, we'll see Godzilla the Art, Godzilla 1991, coin parking delivery version, Godzilla, Godzilla 2023. On the back of the tag, we'll get the usuals with the altered color scheme. Really, really dig it. And on the inside of the tag, we've got all this good stuff. Now say it with me, everybody. Since it's an exclusive, Exclusive, we have to double sleeve the tag. Will it eventually come to the Godzilla store? I have no idea, but look at that tag nice and fresh. God, I just love it! Now you may or may not be asking, who or what is a coin parking delivery? Coin parking delivery, as far as I could find, is an artist that's been kind of blowing up since 2018. The guy started out drawing pictures on his phone and it turned into a whole friggin' career. Vinyl figures, plush toys. Looks like he's done stuff with Sesame Street, and wouldn't you know it, this isn't even the first time he's worked on a Godzilla property. Take a look at these Hedoras. It's only a matter of time before we get coin parking delivery Hedora in the movie monster series, both variants, and I will absolutely be here to talk about them when that eventually more than likely happens. Paint and detail wise, Coin Parking Delivery Goji is repping some crazy, crazy alternate colors. Be it on the front with those white and yellow eyes, or even the metallic paint all over his chest with alternating blues on the bottoms of his arms and such, this is what it means to be a color variant in every sense of the word. I mean, I mean, come on, that's just friggin' cool. And just the fact that there's some alternate blues under and around the metallic paint, even over here on the thighs, even on the sides of the feet? No, it's not even on the bottom of the feet, it's on the sides. That's cool, it's different. And oh yes, even the bottom of the tail will attain a baby blue paint variant. But my favorite part of this here repaint is obviously the yellow green paint that starts all the way at the tip of the tail, but as you can see, it's not just yellow green paint. There is a shade of blue atop all of this green paint that differs from the base color of the vinyl. That to me is just excellence in every sense of the word. And it only gets better once we cover the dorsal fins on Goji's back over here. My god, does this colorway just work? You've got the green, you've got the dark blue matching the base color, you've got the light blue in between and around it as well. This is just absolutian. Who cares if this doesn't represent an on-screen look that Godzilla had at one point or not. If we're gonna get stuff like this with artist-themed collab collaborative figures, I am going to have to fully endorse it with all 3.9 cents of my life. Just wanted to take a closer look at the eyes and give them proper time on screen just so you can see that they are actually white and yellow with black pupils. And holy matrimony, he's actually looking straight forward. Nice. Believe it or not, the paint used on the inside of the mouth will differ from the original 91, as will the overall color that the teeth were painted. I do love me variation. Yes, it's weird. Yes times four, it's fantastic. And most importantly, for the second time in this video, this is exactly what I would want out of a repaint, a remold, a re-anything. The wilder and crazier it is when it comes to the paint job, the more I just need it in my collection. 
The wacky coloring on top of the primely detailed 1991 mold is uh, everything I could have asked for, truly. And I kind of hate that it's taken us this long to get something a lot like this. And just saying, the bottom of the feet are practically the same as the 1991 version. I think all that really differs over here is just the numbers that are printed on the bottom of the feet, not the ones that are actually molded into the bottom of the feet, as these are entirely the same. Just want to do one more flyby of this paint in detail job going on on this figure because it pairs together so absurdly to a point where it doesn't very much pair all that well together but it looks awesome doing so no matter what blue on blue neon yellowish green on blue this is peak i might even just sneak this guy into my top figures of 2023 video which i will be working on very soon just because coin parking delivery understood the assignment I'm gonna give this guy two solid stars in terms of paint and detail. I mean, just look at the contrast that's going on here. Dark and dimly lit, looking like Fear 1 on Xbox 360, and this. I Care Bear Care Bear Earth Day Funko version. Bahalin Goji. Green is Blue's album art Al Green Goji. Hmm, there's gotta be a deep cut I can make here. Uh, Dead Can Dance Spirit Chaser album art Goji. And I guess Heisei Cookie Monster Goji. Yeah. <laughs> Articulation wise, nothing at the head. Back and forth movement at the arms over here. They probably can fully rotate, but paint. Full rotation at these chunky legs and nothing at the tail. Solid star. You changed nothing but the appearance and that's perfectly fine. And now for the deep sea explorationing as to why this guy is taller than this guy. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it uh, I think my friend Jordan explained it the best. I suspect when they pull the vinyl from the cast, it can have variances to how big or small each piece comes out. And that was followed by a picture of his two figures staring each other down, and they're the exact same size. So, I might have just gotten one that looks a little wonky. And hey yo, not for nothing, the bodies on both of the figures do look mostly the same. It's just this guy seems a little less broad than this dude does. And honestly, coming to this conclusion is probably a lot better than me trying to discern if a neck is longer, or if the body was redone or something. I'm going to ask you all the same question that my friend Jordan asked me last night. Do you really think Toho and Bandai of all people, would go about making a brand new mold for a repaint remold figure that was only going to be available at a particular event. Yes, I do believe that. <laughs> I mean, it is 1991 Gojis from the Heisei series. The Heisei series is held in a pretty high regard for most fans, both American and Japanese and all over the world, sure. After listening and hearing Jordan out last night, yeah, this is definitely more than likely what friggin happened. I mean, he eloquently described the process in a way that just makes sense to me. One thing I love about Sofubis is that they remind me of analog synths or vinyl records in that they are not all identical. And this, like many other instances where I nearly lost my face trying to discern what exactly was done differently, I personally feel is a much better answer than I could have ever given. Three solid stars for Shin Jira and Dr. Clips. I'm waiting. And that's about enough out of me, friends and neighbors. It's a remold, it's a repaint. There's gonna be some variances between them. I'm retiring that deep dive search into trying to discern what exactly is different. And I love this thing. Yeah, he's more than likely going to be a late entry into my top 15 figures of 2023. Yes, I decided. And you all can look forward to that video and my office tour next week. I will see you all then and there. I hope you all have a lovely day, afternoon, and night. Be sure to check out all my social medias, including my Patreon, where for a dollar a month you get access to everything especially videos like this that are being recorded and edited on monday and are going to be premiering or just released on friday and now i have to get busy pointing my camera at all of this landfill behind me so i can appease everybody asking collection tour when monday see you there